This is a film that first and foremost is about celebrating the love and beauty of otherness. Can you talk about why that's such a special and important message to be delivering in this year? I mean, it, it, because there's a lot of otherness in the world and uh, nobody, you know, love is love. And we love who we love, so, so stop with all this stuff. Just stop. We are who we are. We look like what we look like. We believe what we believe, you know, just, just, I, it's, it's about, and it's about the forgotten people. The people who, uh, especially in 1962 when the movie takes place, it was very, um, you know, it was, it was just, I don't know, it, it was, I grew up, I was in high school in 1962, and my life was great because I was a white man. But if you weren't, life was not so great. Talk about working with both Sally and Doug, because obviously their lack of dialogue um, complicates communication, but it's amazing how much depth and nuance there is, particularly in those scenes between you and Sally. Well, she's pretty easy. To, I mean, she's pretty deep. And uh, she's an extraordinary actress. You know, it's not hard to do scenes with Sally Hawkins. It's joyful. Yeah. She's incredible. I did have to talk for her, and I didn't get any more money for that. She didn't say my lines, I had to say hers. I mean, come on. You've got a genius, you use him twice. Um, my final question, um, you've worked with so many fantastic storytellers. What is unique about Guillermo, though? He, nothing is wasted. Nothing is wasted in his story. Everything has a reason for being there.